So I want to show you a demo I did at uh, the Webmon Target event in Bo uh, Bonn in Germany yesterday. It worked quite well and it's a combination of three things that uh, I generally focus on here at UMC Portal and that's uh, mini computers. So this is the uh, Intel uh, Compute Stick, 32 gig with uh, Windows 10 upgrade. Uh, an Action Tech Screen Beam Pro Miracast and Wide Eye receiver and a Lumia 830 loaned to me by Microsoft Germany which is now running uh, Windows 10 Beta. Now there's an interesting demo you can do with uh, OneDrive and that is to use the PowerPoint mobile app across all three, sorry, all uh, two platforms, that's the, the mobile and the, the desktop, uh, and then have that synchronized through OneDrive in a presentation scenario. So what I'm gonna do, and this also demonstrates quite nicely one of the things you can actually do on the Intel Compute Stick, which isn't the most powerful device, but actually given some of the Windows 10 apps, becomes a little bit more productive than with desktop apps. So I'm gonna use the PowerPoint mobile app. Um, we'll put it on this screen behind me. I've also got an Ultrabook running in the back there, which is uh, connected. And you'll see the app, we'll run the app there at the same time, and you'll see the synchronizations happening in, in near real time. And then out of signal, out of screenshot here, I've got a, a screen which will connect to the Miracast receiver and we'll use PowerPoint Mobile on the Lumia 830. It's a kind of a continuum scenario, but it's definitely a universal winner's app uh, presentation, uh, demonstration of presentations. Um, the only thing that's missing from this hardware is the ability to run a two screen display so what happens is the app doesn't pop up into a full desktop size app it is the same app but because this is just a mirrored screen uh, from Miracast through the from the 830 you only see the mobile version of the app but you can turn it into landscape mode and get a pretty reasonable um, non-continuum uh, projection scenario sort of a, a wireless projection scenario where you can use this which is quite nice anyway okay that's enough talk let's go and have a look at some of the hardware very quickly and then i'll show you the demo so i've got the compute stick here we've got a uh, an rf usb sorry uh, yeah a usb to rf uh keyboard and mouse it's a logitech k700 k400 r not great for typing, but great for demos and great for sort of home theater PCs. And I won't be able to show you me connecting it, but I'm gonna connect it to the HDMI port at the back. I'm gonna use the uh, supplied USB power as well. I've tried a couple of external batteries. They just don't provide enough power. You really need that two amp. Um, it might even be providing more than two amps, actually, the, the Intel power unit. So you really need to plug it into the Intel power unit that's provided with the device. But let's plug that into the screen now. So the Compute 6 plugged in, we're in uh, Windows 10 now. What I'm gonna do is start up the PowerPoint mobile app. Remember, this is the PowerPoint mobile app. This is not the full Office 365 uh, PowerPoint app. And it shows me the last app, the, the last presentation I've used, which has to, happens to be stored in OneDrive. At the same time, I'm gonna use the second keyboard mouse that I've got connected to the Ultrabook here. And I will start PowerPoint mobile on this, and I will fire up the same presentation. Now, editing the PowerPoint on the compute stick is not completely fluid. There are delays, but it is actually usable. If you're in a hotel room and you've got, you've got to do a presentation in the morning, uh, this is good enough for, uh, for this. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's add some text to that. And we'll have a, keep an eye on, this over here because when I move away from that slide it should synchronize and what you should see over here you should see that one update it takes sometimes a few minutes but I've got a presentation here which is 11 slides long now so the interesting thing is now I'm going to plug in the Miracast uh, receiver and then we'll fire up the same app remember it's the PowerPoint mobile app it's the same app running on here uh, we'll mirror cast it to, to the wide eye and we'll see if we can get uh, this presentation and you can see that's updated now with the uh, edits I did on here which also means when I go to the app on 
my Lumina 830, that's going to update, so we should be able to project to the mirror cast. Let's try that. So once again, it's the Action Tech Screen Beam Pro uh, HDMI. It's going to go to the big screen, and then we've got power there, and that takes about yeah, 30 seconds to, to boot, and you'll see that booting on the screen. I'm just going to quickly pan up. You'll see that booting onto the screen. So now with a bit of a wide angle view on everything here, and I hope this is going to stay in focus because I've got to autofocus on here. I'm going to start up that PowerPoint mobile app. And you'll see that I've already used that presentation. Remember, this is coming from OneDrive. And there's the presentation in its mobile format. And you'll see the updated text is there. Now, Windows 10. And remember, this is a beta version and the new uh, versions of Lumia will have the continuum, but what we're going to do is we're going to connect. It will find the Miracast receiver. In the background you should see some action here because it's going to connect to that screen. Now if this was a continuum enabled device, what you'd have is you'd have a full screen version of the phone in the background and you have a controller pad here, like a touch pad, uh, a continuum pad I think they're calling it. But in this case we've just got a mirrored image. So what I'm going to do is going to go back to the app. I'm just going to go into, um, yeah, let's turn off. Oh, it wasn't turned on anyway. But now, if you look to see what's happened in the background, we actually have the, the complete PowerPoint going on there. So what I'm going to do is uh, swipe. You'll see that it's not hugely quick on the swipes so when I do that there's a few seconds it's got to load that next screen in from the background so if you're presenting you'll need to to bear that in mind but it uh, it is working and uh, remember that was the um, if we go to the background then and refocus here it's this same app it's the same file and if I make a change let's see if I can make a change this is the dongle page. Okay, a little bit of uh, playing around here. Um, so we want to go to that page. Um, and what we'll do is just edit, edit that text. I'm going to call it an HDMI dongle. And if we are lucky, this application should update. I'm going to watch the text up there. This application should update. I need, think I need to go to another slide for that to, to update. Um, and I might need to come out of presentation mode on, on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of presentation mode because it may not update in presentation mode. And we'll see the slide here. And I'm just hoping that within just a, a few seconds that that will update that, um, the up, update that um, slide. At the moment it hasn't, yes it has. It has updated that now, and that presentation can go ahead now with the updated text that we did on the compute stick there. So that's a live OneDrive synchronized file being created by PowerPoint Mobile on the compute stick, being presented on a Lumia 830 over Miracast, a non-continuum version of Miracast. This is the uh, display mirroring version of Miracast, rather than the dual display capable continuum new phones that we expect to come out on October the 6th. In fact, by the time you're watching this video, uh, there may be a Lumia 950, a 950 XL out that will support this dual screen scenario. Certainly there's an Asus uh, device coming that will support dual screen scenario. So that's quite a difficult demo uh, to do in the studio here. Three screens, uh, there's lighting and cables all over the place. And of course this uh, Lumia 830 isn't running the, the continue enabled, it continuum enabled version of uh, Windows 10, which is a real shame. But I hope that gives you an idea of maybe how those mobile apps, those universal Windows 10 apps are gonna scale across screens um, all the way down to here. Uh, we've still got this connected via Miracast. I'm just using Edge to uh, show a YouTube video here, which just happens to be off the, off the same screen. Um, but just don't forget that's uh, version 5140 
of the operating of the um, Miracast receiver firmware that's running this, and it's running quite smoothly with uh, tablets and uh, Miracast enabled Windows 8 uh, and Windows 10 laptops. But do upgrade, I think 1540, 1540. But do check uh, with um, uh, Action Tech for the latest version of the firmware for the Miracast receiver. And of course, this is a beta of Windows 10. Um, I don't quite recommend it for a daily use. I'm actually using it as, uh, for my daily phone right now, but um, I wouldn't recommend it. It's a little bit slow, a little bit buggy. There's a few drops, uh, dropouts and bugs there. That is the Intel Compute Stick behind me on that screen there, uh, proving that we can actually do some productivity with it. Um, with the mobile apps, which of course are a little bit slimmer, a little bit more efficient, a little bit um, less resource heavy than desktop apps. So think about uh, that when you're thinking about the low end uh, PCs. And that was an Ultrabook just there running the same, uh, the same uh, software as well. So going from Core i7, I think that is, down to Atom, down to ARM based significant thing to think about arm based um, Lumia smartphone there I hope you got that demo if you've got any questions drop them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, get notifications for the next video coming up because I think there's going to be a lot of things happening as we move forward with Windows 10 mobile Windows 10 this device is coming in tomorrow I get my first the first iPad I've ever re reviewed not for me, for Notebook Check. I'm doing some work with Notebook Check, and tomorrow I start on just a video review of the uh, iPad Mini 4. So subscribe and you'll get notifications of that. Maybe you'll uh, enjoy my <laughs> lack of experience with it. Don't worry, we've got the expert guys at Notebook Check behind. They've already, writ already written the review. What I'm gonna do is kind of summarize the highs and lows, give you a nice video summary in three to five minutes of the iPad Mini 4. Hope you enjoy that. That'll be on the Notebook Check review channel. You can also subscribe to them. Let's put that there. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.